Nu sa jag egentligen bad stepping så jag vet att inte lid. Ja, yeah, because yeah. the, the 1.26 seems to be the good stepping if we want to P3 one. We, we overclock one to 1.57. That was the highest the board went on 67 okay. bus. Okay. And then we overclocked the cellar on one gigahertz, the best stepping and now because the Intel usually has like four stepping, so we got the top one there. Well he got. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, we, yeah. we we maxed out the bus again on 67. Yeah. So what 1.67 gigahertz on a one year CPU and it was like the board stopped. Like yeah, how yeah, far yeah. would this thing go? <laughs> And the Pentium so, 3s, uh, two of them were, uh, yeah, the 1.4 was even beating the Pentium 4. At the, at yeah, the that's no problem. Yeah. Uh, the Pentium 4 sucks so much balls, it's stupid. Yeah. But yeah, the, the top one there. The, 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 but the, the 1.26 gigahertz P3 at 1.53 was faster than the seller on at 1.67, but that's because the cache prefetch most likely. Yeah. So it's I did the seller was fun. Like I think we did like seven sixteen seventeen K in three to mark two thousand or something. I don't okay. remember the graphics card it was probably like uh what should we use then? Like if it was three or so I don't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we what, used uh, with what PC did you start your gaming experience? Do you remember? Uh, a Pensier one six yeah, I, I'm one of the people I even remember oh, other people's computer specs, even when, when I didn't know what a computer was. <laughs> it was just like... Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, well, it's partially at least. I, the first computer I really remember using, like, I, we had some weird computers in school, like, for ADC. We had everything from monochrome, I don't know what it was, like, you know, grayscale. Yeah, I think a, five, uh, 80, five quarter floppies. maybe. Yeah. And this was yeah. like, I, what could I have been then? It was a bit 92. 93, 94. Uh, so yeah. we had like this monochrome system with five and a quarter in the floppies. Like yeah. I remember, the only problem I remember was running this nuclear react simulator. So you can like run a nuclear reactor. So this must have been like a, it must be an either, you know, like an 8080 CPU unit or, you know, Z8 or something. It was not, I don't think it was a PC. I think it was some, something completely different. I have no clue to this day what the fuck it was. It okay. was like just it was just the one system. We had PCs too, but just that one was the oddball. Yeah, that one I remember. I have no clue what it was. I, I at that point I was so young, so I figured viruses when they gave the computer you sneezed on the floppy spacing. <laughs> so. Well, myself, I started with the eighty eighty six a monochrome uh, screen, indeed a green screen, and yeah, I played very simple text based games, um, maybe some Olympic sport games where you need to push as uh, fast some buttons um oh yeah yeah that it kind had of stuff. similar on nintendo me and my cousins like you know what was that the game called on the, in, in this, the nes you know where you had to track and feel i think yeah yeah you had to like hammer the keys it's like an exercise by itself <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah well the next uh, step up was the uh, i i skipped some years i first got a cdi player from philips and afterwards, I uh, got a Pentium uh, 1, 100 megahertz. And the first time on that game, I played Quake 1 and uh, Carmageddon. Ah, yeah. yeah. My, well, our first system that we kind of owned eventually, because we had this uh, in Sweden, what made PCs take off was the fact that, the, you, you know, the, the, the government basically said, you can, you can rent a system from the company you work at, and it's tax-free. So everyone, like every company started to offer to their employees like, oh, during three or four years, you're going to pay this much every month and we're going to give you this PC. And when, when you paid it off, basically, you can pay it off again by, you know, <laughs> you know, not 100 euros or something, it's yours. <laughs> oh. So that was our first one in 96 that we kind of owned eventually. I mean, it doesn't yeah. exist anymore because like everything else, I took it apart and upgraded it to no end until uh -huh. it was nothing left. But yeah. it was a Pentium 166, 32 megs of RAM, Cyrus Logic 5446 graphics card. It was uh, 1.6 gigabyte Western Caviar hard drive. It was an 80 oh, yeah. box, 200 watt power supply, with that yeah. white with the with like a black you know mirror finished uh, LCD display, like a big one. So it was completely plain black. So once yeah. you turn it on, you could see the see the 166 megahertz there. 
Uh, it's had 10x optical drive. It was broken. It took me a fucking year to explain to them why it's blue screen every time you use the optical drive. But no, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, it's always D colon uh, input error, output error. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong. It took me a year. I couldn't play Quake 2 for like a year. I bought Quake 2 and <laughs> back then. You... But yeah, it was a nice system. But they, yeah. They, they, yeah, but I remember all the specs on that system, except what exactly the motherboard was, because it, like, like it was like a 430 VX, only like yeah. Pentium 200 mega support, nothing special for PCI 3 ISA. But I think yeah. it was a generic, you know. It, I remember it said in the manual that it actually had USB support, but there's no header included because USB came around at that point, but most boards, I didn't have the chip and the hardware installed, or they didn't have the header supply because no one uses this according to the manual. <laughs> it's like future support. <laughs> but they upgraded that system to 96 megs of RAM, and uh, because at one point they're on 98, you could buy Mega 64 megs of EDU for like 40 euros, it cost nothing. I think, oh, it was 80 euros. I think it was 32 megs for 40, which was cheap, and that was an expensive store. So I, I remember buying that, and two years later, the price went triple. So I sold it for the same, just to be nice, because no one can afford buying a new one. Yeah, but yeah, I bought this. I had total like 6 meg ADO in it in 98 with the Voodoo 2, 12 meg creative yeah. blaster. And later it got upgraded to a K62 450 with a shuttle motherboard and uh, yeah. 192 megs of RAM, I think, and a GeForce 2 GTS because for some reason I could I sort of afford it like half a year later or something. So I went to a completely retard on the graphics card, which meant I could run 16 by 1200 on a 450. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as long as you, you know you tweak the game to not use the CPU hard heavy things and use. Everything yeah. the graphics card had to do, we pulled up the max and everything else to the CPU was sucked yeah. at, at the bottom. So, it was kind of weird because my friends wanted to play on their thing instead of the P3-4... Uh, P3-800, my mother had. With a GeForce 2 DDR, she, she got... When I got that computer, because I, I got... Uh, when it was paid off, I got that, and she yeah. got another one on lease. She got an IBM Optiva P3-800 with GeForce 2 56 DDR. Yeah. In 2000, like on, I just stopped the release, like... When I got the papers, you could you know, check the boxes. We got the paper, you know, check the boxes, but like, so you can select TNT2 or EFUS 256 DDR. And no, I was like, what, what's EFUS 256 DDR? I don't know, but it's the expensive ones I took it, you know. <laughs> it was like IBM knew what it was before anyone else kind of knew. <laughs> it cost 4,000 euros, the fucking system to get that. And the thing is, I threw the fucking graphics card away like two years later because it was worth nothing. Yeah. You know, I think my father, yeah, my father got the used. GeForce yeah. 4 I put well, I in the system, push, and we just the threw the GeForce 256 away, DDR. Yeah, back in the game, that was, um, yeah. Hey, sh shall we get a, go a game going? I see somebody uh, joins the Dead server. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've like been in the game new. for a while, I just run, yeah, oh, Marcus is here. Yeah, they're running around in circles so, because it costs 40 euros. Okay. So, uh, we've got Marcus here. Hello, Marcus, thank you for the um, for your promotion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No I need to check if my stream has uh, audio input from my uh, uh, Fudu 5 PC. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, uh, uh, it's called Play 3. Game for a while. I used to run. Yeah, Marcus is here. Yeah, we're running around in circles so because. Nope, you're called Marcus. Oh, yeah. So, uh, oh, I can't even remember the. Marcus, thank you for the. Uh, oh, okay. for your promotion. Uh, but Jan actually still okay. has, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, has the Pension 3 and the EBA, IBM motherboard and to RAM check if my that keeps us safe. I had it in HTPC, uh, my first one. Uh, you see? IBM yeah. wasn't what they used to be back in like 2000. Yeah. The case yeah. were so yeah. poor quality. Yeah. So what is called Play 3? So I remember throwing the IBM case away because like, yeah. if you want to cut your figure off, yeah. that level of crap. Okay, it has sound. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but you all loaded up. That's not fair. <laughs> ah, well, this game isn't fair. <laughs> you all have really virus. Let's get the virus. I'm not gonna get my ass. Yeah, I got the track balls. So it's not like you're not gonna get my ass eventually. Oh, are you a uh, oh trackable unit? Really? Yeah. 
nice one. new one. This this one is like Turk in Fortnite years old now. It's like like since my eyes. I don't know if drone or ice set machine, I can't remember. Yeah. No. Uh, I need a new one. The, the 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 ball is so worn it's the friction is getting to my nerves. I can wax it with car wax, it works for like a few days. Okay, hold on, I'll share my screen with a uh, WhatsApp group. Uh, let's see if they join as well. Oh yeah, that's what I, I was gonna write to the uh, to the other guys in the US. Oh, good US idea. Of a. US of A. Yeah. Yes. I, oh, I actually got the package order there from. I put the order in on Monday in the evening, and they sent it on Thursday Swedish time on the day, and it arrived yesterday <laughs> from Texas, US. FedEx Express. Yeah, three days FedEx Express, but they, I haven't got an idea because I had to book delivery here, so I can pick it up. So it should yep. come tomorrow. There we go. Yeah, I, I had a friend uh, called Jonas. He's, uh, I think he's... Uh, uh, is Jonas here? Uh, under the name Axeman, Marcus? Yes, he is, but he's yeah. usually not active, though. Yeah. He's pretty um, dormant. Everyone is pretty dormant. Yeah, I guess. But yeah, I got... He, he wanted gold-colored audio caps for his A gold. So he's gotta be gold gold. Pimp gold. So is he had pimp? to pay 25 gold euros. Teeth. Yeah, he paid, paid 25 euros in shipping total taxes to get 50, 5 euros worth of caps. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, That's a lot of shipping. He has 8% of the cost of your shipping and then he has... Yeah. And then he has to pay me like 30 euros to fucking do the job too. Oh, because I increased my price. It's all going. <laughs> yeah, uh, he has to say... I, I agree with him though. An A Gold should have gold caps, it's just that I don't feel like paying you know, 35 euros to buy caps worth 5 euros. It's a but bad thing, deal. Yeah, but the thing is, like, if you were a few people who wanted the same mod, it's perfectly doable because as soon as you get to like 40 hey, euros plus. That's another Patrick, uh, somebody who's watching oh. the stream. Oh, okay. A friend cool. of mine who wrote them, yes. oh, not wrote them um, in uh, somewhere else. Yeah. If I know more about Ace, because I don't have a, I had an Ace 64 before, but uh, I don't have one anymore. Uh, but they, there's so many creative cards and there's so many different caps. But if I had more a better idea of what caps they use, I could order a lot of caps because you get free shipping above like 40 euros or something plus tax. So it's like 50, 60. I think you got have to get 60 euros in practice. Then I can buy them basically shipping free. So I don't have to pay so much shipping. From where? Uh, US. Oh, okay. Actually, cheaper than shipping if you get the like 40, pl 40 euro plus tax. Like German, Conrad in Europe is like 100 euros before you get free shipping. But it's like half mm. the shipping until you get to that point. So. And same delivery time. But yeah, I can pro hopefully I'm gonna do get my hands on more A64s and recap them, and I can get a better idea of what caps they use. Not so I, come here. Yeah. I did buy two kits for the gold version, this particular one. I don't remember the CT number. Now. Oh, I'm still called. Because player, someone so pays no. shipping for me. Someone is called player. Trust me. Some, yeah. Yeah, but isn't there like op multiplayer Let's see. Uh, no no options to thing? Right. Place it up, options, place it up. Yeah, yeah. you can change the Okay. Oh, I'm Marcus. That's funny. Huh? No, you're not. There is I'm one. not? No, there's oh, like there's the two of us. Possible then. Oh, I'm now. Uh, did you myself. download this from Marcus, the UTM version or something? I think so. No. Hey, it's not changing. Maybe, Maybe the next one. Uh -huh. Do you have other favorites? Do you have those ad service editor options? Uh, multiplayer. Uh, yeah, I'm called Marcus. Fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah, very in uh, fine internet that games. Yeah. There's a console command. Uh, yeah, but if you go to multiplayer, fine internet games, do you have other favorites? Do you have three service editor called Brain Ring? Uh, let's see. 
I did modify the game and we uploaded. I think Marcus has that version now, don't you? Yeah, I modified the version so we had service added. Mm, okay. I'm not oh, sure. I'm now. My okay. name's changed. Yeah, you sh yeah. Because I, oh, I did that because uh, you can change the default in your files even if people like reset the game like completely, unless they did for some reason go and delete the default file. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, uh, you, the game basically s creates a new default profile with our service ended every time. Convenient. A perfect hit. <laughs> First plus. Okay. Most important. Whoops! Hello. Oh dear. Don't kill me. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. Gotcha. That's the worst. Worst aiming I've done in a while. Yeah, I was going slow motion in mid air, but uh. Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh! That guy just sucks. Give Good sake! No! I felt foxy. Wow, Frackball in this map is so hard. Yeah, that automatic dodging sucks. I almost fell uh, off. Uh, you can turn it off. Yeah, I know, yeah. I oh, sorry, I'm, more, uh, I'm more of a Quake player, yeah. but uh, I'm Rotun this one. Well, I actually, yeah, more of a Counter Strike than on a tournament than Quake. Okay. So you yeah. you did play a lot of professional Quake? Well, in the past. Back um, in the day? Back in the day, yeah. yeah. Sounds like uh, you're well, back paid. Back Isn't that day. when you get I'm paid? Old. Yeah, well, that was before that. Um, 2000 till mid 2000. I was playing together with uh, I don't know if you know him, Bo. He played against Fatality in the finals, and he okay. unfortunately oh, for lost. Fuck's sake. But he got 100,000 dollar, and he was in, uh, in my clan with Quake 3, and we won a lot of uh, team that match, the matches. But uh, Bo was the master Quake 3. of duel. One this one. I always suck at Quake. Okay. Yeah. I love Quake. They can... yeah, but the uh, uh, thing is, we I'm only better. had one computer to get pretty late, so we lost yeah. like the, the norms. So usually we were two people playing the same system. <laughs> I, could, I I got network. Uh, I got uh, we got internet in '98, and then I think I got network linked up in between two computers in like must be 2000. Yeah. Was the PC3? So, so the PC3 uh, linked to the K62. Oh. Really? 37. 37. Oh, 39. Yeah. I was 13 when we got our first computer. 13. Yes. Yes. Yeah, pretty late. But I have like my parents didn't know what computer was kind of thing. So it's like it kind of fell on their foot and you know. Kind of yeah. It was like overnight. Overnight, everyone had a computer in Sweden. It was like basically like that because all the companies and every every company wanted to sell tax-free computers in Sweden. So it's uh, yeah. Oh. Now it just feels like our government rather want to. My for fuck's sake! Now it oh just dear. feels like our government don't give a don't even care about IT like that anymore. It's uh, I don't know. Hey Jack. Good uh, evening. 99 run on Windows 7. What? What if Unreal? Yeah, yeah. Runs on Windows 10. No problem. Yeah. Oh, I run on Unreal in Linux right now. Runs on everything. Windows okay, 11? I don't know. know. I'm on my laptop. Well, the problem yeah. is with 11 doesn't run on your PC because you need uh, pieces from the future. Yeah, the TPM module. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's so lot over over a Linux. By 2025, Linux will be good enough that I can use it. Anyway. Well, I've been using it for 20 years. <laughs> I say it's like by 2025, Windows gonna be have a Linux kernel, so Windows won't exist anymore. Pretty much no. I was actually surprised Microsoft decided to release Windows 11 and keep the anti kernel because I figured they would gonna do Windows 10 for another like three or four years at least. And then it's like, yeah, we're doing Windows 11. 
Windows yeah. Still updated until yeah, yeah, it's getting updated, but I figured I would keep it the, because they had this idea that Windows 10 was the final one. But I figured they're gonna do a new one, but I figured it was a few years off and they would do Linux kernel because it was rumored that they might go over to a Linux kernel in the future. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it kind of makes I sense. Oh. <laughs> in your face. But if it, you it does have a Linux subsystem, so yeah. Windows is a bunch of subsystems. Um, yeah, but you guys are playing Unreal Gold. Uh, uh, we're, uh, four three six. Yeah. Four three six. Unreal tournament. Not not Unreal. Draft gave, gave me something once uploaded to my website. I'm just downloading all of it. No, okay. Uh, if you need that. Unreal Gold, gold sounds one. like the first Unreal. That's not tournament. Yeah. Because they, they, the Unreal Tournament is Game of the Year edition. Wait, are you it. playing tournament or. Yeah, it's Unreal. tournament. Yeah, Unreal tournament. tournament. We have Unreal Tournament. Yeah, yeah. We, we oh, have a server. Uh, do you need some uh, assistance for that? No, I, I got it. I thought yeah. you were oh, yeah, on the video. But you, you can okay, send him uh, the FTP or something otherwise, because like I said, I put that version up there, you know, with the Yeah, I, I have the version of it. Yeah, yeah, because you, you joined us you joined us before. Yeah, yeah, but that was all my name. Yeah, but yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. We okay. should, uh, we could do Unreal someday, but the thing is, like, that is a like, co-op server because it doesn't make sense to play multiplayer that match on it. Because yeah. the, uh, Unreal is actually less nope. optimized, I, I'm arguing, so it's actually slower, it requires more, so it makes no sense. Yeah. Yeah. But it's pretty fun co-op, actually. Hmm. It's long as fuck, I... like, you can play a whole weekend. It's really I've, long. I've never played it, but it's Yeah, we have a server up with with a slight mod, and the mod is mainly... I think yeah. the mod can like save your inventory and stuff, so you can like continue and resume and stuff, but I haven't figured out how the fuck to do that. But the reason I put the mod in is because the dev team forgot to make it so when you reach the end, the, the server restarts. Like, if you play quick 2 and get to the boss and kill the boss at the end, the game restarts yeah. and someone else can play it. But with Unreal, you have to restart the server manually, which is stupid. Mm, so I put a bot in that is like 400k or 100k or something that downloads automatically when you connect, and it just just makes sure that you can restart the server automatically. But it also allows the oh. saving of your stats and stuff. So like if you come back and conti continue where you ended, I think. So but Jason, I haven't figured out how that works. Cool. Who is Jason? Who is that? I don't know. Because he has a thing of 130 and. I will have Unreal Tournament in a minute and 50 seconds. Yeah, I'm getting nuked here. So this is very good for this pin. I don't know if it's. Do you know what was the biggest pain ever? I set up a, a Halo dedicated server last night. Oh, yeah, I missed well, that. I left Halo. You did. Fuck, we are dead now. Yeah. Thank you. And that, that was, it was <laughs> a pain to get it set up, but besides that, if somebody. If two people have the same product cake oh, and they join yeah. the server, the second person One of those. can't join. Uh, obviously, we want to have the same pirated version with the selecting no. the first key. <laughs> here's, the, here's the worst part the cracked version is an update. There's a cracked version, but it's the 2004 version of the game, which multiplayer no longer works. <laughs> the, the weird thing <laughs> is. What? what the hell? There are so many yeah, versions of Halo, like you mentioned, even for Mac there are multiple versions. There are the PowerPC version for Mac, then you have the, uh, the all binary version, which is uh, PowerPC and x86, but that version is so slow comparatively, like I got 25% more FPS, so like, I did a benchmark on last shit, the graphics card got 15 on the new version of Halo that supports yeah. x86 Max, but I got 20 on the old one on my PowerPC then, so... And then I got another graphics card and tweaked the old one, and I ended up at like 35 fully Any tweaked. I don't know, that's what I think about. Like, if it's the same version, shouldn't that work? Like, if it's like. I don't know. It works. But, but I, I, I ended up I running the, the, old, the older version, the power PC only version, because it's quite oh. literally like you, you're losing a quarter of your frame rate if you go with a hybrid version that supports x86. It's that much slower. And I got a pretty slow power PC. It's like an 800, which is minimum spec. But I do have the L3 cache and a few things. It's a pieces and a E3. So it's, it's like 
you don't want to play it, but you can play it. It's like, it's smooth sometimes, but on the open field it's kind of lag as shit. I but went yeah. through the oh. pain of <laughs> installing Linux on my uh, Power Mac P5. Yeah, I did that on my E4 a few months ago, but the problem was, uh, on that one, was that I had three graphics card, one GeForce 2 MX 64 meg, one 32 meg, and then a GeForce 3 64 meg. And I can only get the 64 meg GeForce 2 to work. Like everything else is graphical corruption. GeForce 3 doesn't work, the GeForce 2 MX 32 doesn't work. And I want to use the GeForce oh, 3 because it's faster, much faster than Halo. 3, I was confused, Halo. I downloaded Unreal Tournament, I couldn't find the EXA in this system. Yeah, yeah, it's always in my <laughs> system. That's... It's a bit hidden. They're always bad like that hey, Rob. for all of the Unreal games, I think. Do you have to run as a moon Nah, yeah, I don't know. I no, don't know. no, shouldn't have to. That's where it didn't work unless I set it to XP compatibility. Mode. Hmm. Oh, and you have Windows 7. Yeah, Windows 7. I, I don't think I've XP. changed anything on my Windows 10 machine. I, I had to hack around a bit with Unreal and Unreal Tournament in Linux, like figure out because you get a pack with 32 bit libs and then you have to figure out which ones you actually need with the, that you need to unbreak the game and which ones you don't need so you don't break it even more. And then you have to install some 32 bit libs in the system from the pack manager. It took me a what while. What is the port? What is the port? Uh, 777. It's yeah. on the Discord. But if it's, you don't. Uh, I think that's standard. Yeah, but if you download our version, it should be on the no, favorites. He... No, he downloaded it uh, long before. Yeah, but it should we download the new repack, and then he got the, the favorites added. Every, even if yeah, he yeah, like yeah, delete his yeah. INF files, because I edited the oh, default yeah. INF. So whenever you do like a reset of the game, you, you still the game creates a new profile for you with our service. Wait, do I have to specify the port? No, I don't think you have to. Just. That it depends. I don't recall. Some, it's like I had some weird issues okay, where I, I couldn't know. join my own server. But they are public. You, you should see them in the like the public server if you look by name. They call. Why, to... why is my camera? I need the new games. camera. What? My camera's in the like if I move my mouse down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the Jason just... guy, guys. Listen, the Jason guy that he's really using me name was. It's not possible. He's like um. three times shooting me out of midair with rockets. Well, I'm a user. Okay. Alright. I'm, sh I'm, I'm, I'm using an Untamed bot with my trackball here. I suck. Uh, I did the last time. I, I should have got a mouse. But the thing is, I don't even have a mouse if I recall without a ball. I only got ball mouses these days. <laughs> How do I turn off inversion? Somewhere mm. in options. It's options. in. Uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. I don't oh, remember. Yeah. Is it play? Is it up? I don't remember. It's under input, not controls. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It should turn off the whole dodge shit, or so. There is dodge. I never yeah. use. If you go to internet games and to service, I think you can. F you should be able to find ours, but it depends on the ping because I'm so close to Marcus' server. I'm. I our brain the server ah. tops on the charge for me, so I, like they pop up on the internet service automatically if I launch and, and you use the time. So. Okay, so you have my settings, that's why it's inverted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's you and Marcus and Marcus, you, you two people are so Play introverted. Inverted. No, we are wow, not introverted. We're yes, inverted. that's a joke, yes, exactly. It's okay. Well, it's anyway. running very nicely on my laptop. Well, it should. This laptop's from 2012. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and this game is from '99. Yeah, I think it should work. You know, half decent. Well, oh, as long as you crazy. don't have Intel graphics card yeah. IDP, because then everything sucks. Uh, no, we we uh, survey you in the uh, system. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that much. Uh, the the death one. Yeah. Yes. No, it's a NVS 420M. Uh, one gig of VRAM and uh, one gigahertz. Actually, what is it? I have an Atom, you know, Aspire 150, an Atom N270 with the um, 
yeah, the integrated into shit so much stuff. I actually managed to, because it doesn't support Windows 2000, and if you try to install Vanilla 2000, it just won't work. You need to basically set it up as an 80 machine, which is kind of hilarious. Mm. Uh, but I actually got Windows I 2 want, clean on that one. I want to uh, try to get the best possible Windows 2000. Yeah, the thing, you, you know those old mm. netbooks you got, 1.6 gear atoms, the shitty ones. The thing is, yeah. one of those performs like a Pension 3 1 gigahertz with a GeForce 256 SDR. Like, so, so it's a perfectly good, like, Windows 2000 machine with oh, yeah, I, just I, 9 I have games. A, I have a good Windows 2000, and I have a Pension 4 3.2 gigahertz. Uh, oh! Die someone! Oh. Yeah. The funny thing though is like the CPU is like two watts or something. Yeah. <laughs> and you got an eight like in a eight in screen and stuff. The thing is like I just did it because it was fun because I can have it as like my administrator laptop on a retro lamp. So it's like half the size of oh. most, you know, uh, modern laptops. Like. Yeah. It's kind of funny. But they actually perform really well. It's like a Pension 3 and a E4256 for like. But I'm saying, like I want to build a machine that has like the last possible support of CPU that Windows 2000. I think it's either a CPU 425. Well, you, you know, I, I run Windows virtual machines though, but you can run Windows 2000 advanced server up to 32 cores of threads. So you should be able to run uh, like an interior Ryzen with 16 cores. Well, yeah, but there's going to be no driver support. No, it, yeah, like I said, virtual machine works, but the thing is, I don't know what you should go go native there. Yeah, I think Can you... I did research the latest I could find that like mother oh, version maybe? that fully supported Windows 2000 drivers was. Uh, could Optron work, but it's gonna be limited RAM, though. But... I mean, early Optron, real early Optron servers. I mean, it wasn't unusual. Like my first Optron with dual CPUs had one gig of RAM. So, I mean, and you can easily like go and say three gigs of RAM, two two gigs. <gasps> well, my my two thousand two is two gigs of RAM. Yeah, because I was thinking like, could you find one of those, you know, eight-way server boards uh, with like dual core Optron socket nine forty, you know, like a whole bunch of eight sixty fives or something. That would give you 16 1.8 gigahertz cores. <laughs> then you plop in like the smallest ECC red red DDR you can find, you know, uh, stick the CPU something like that to six like. <laughs> That's what you I give it to you. I am terrible at this game. Yeah, I'm mean, I, I yeah. completely sucks today apparently. I have negative one frag, so. Who ain't? Well, the Jason guy oh, you have a uh, decent. Uh, the I have Jason like thing, no so. frags, no nothing. You got one kill, but uh, yeah. I no. should have. Yeah. I am sitting. I'm blaming it on trackball right now. Mm -hmm. I feel fucked. Just want a kill. Give me one kill. Like if I play on my that's the thing. If I play with a ball mouse on my retro Atalon, water cool Atalon with the U for two feet six, like then I'm up in the top three usually. But right now oh. I'm up for the computer and I can't play okay. because yeah. I'm happy I killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, small that's part. positive. Yeah. Yeah, the, the funny yeah. thing though, like. My retro machine, in some ways, is a better gaming machine than my modern Ryzen 3000 is because my Ryzen 3000 has a 60 hz 440p monitor and enterprise grade, so it's pretty nice, like feature-wise. But it has no gaming features. But it's and it has like it's super comfortable for your eyes because it's like measures the ambient light and shit, so you never get the eye strain or anything. But it's oh, 60 hz this, this is something I'm looking for. I want to find a good mechanical keyboard for my retro machine. That's PS6. Uh, I can't find it. Oh yeah. Man, IBM. Well, except yeah, obviously I could get uh, the Model but that's they're like going for a lot. Yeah. I don't. Care. I have a. Uh, you can look for oh, for oh 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 look for a uh, like look for cheap 80 and XD you know early ones. You can get an adapter. I got one by mistake. You know like an eight, with the XD8 switch in the bottom. I got um a PS2 to USB adapter and it didn't work. On my 95, I think it worked on my. XP. Yeah, but 80 to you know the 80 the DIN 5 connected to PS2 should always work as long as the keyboard is 80, not XT. But uh, well, yeah, the thing but was, I was I think. What? I tried connecting my uh, modern like keyboard. Like yeah, yeah, but you can't do that because it yeah. lacks the PS2 protocol. Like almost oh, everything nice. last five years or more doesn't have that. 
uh, you have to have something active then I suppose. But what you can do, actually do, is you can get one of those KVM switches that I have. It has PS2 and USB option out, but the thing is when you connect the USB keyboard to it and you connect the PS2 port from it, it actually translates your microcontroller, the USB keyboard you have, to PS2 output. And the thing is, you can run PS2 input too natively, but that has like wasty hack problems, you, you know, rollover shit. So if you push yeah. like shift, you can't run, it just, the character just stops. So I ended up using a USB keyboard I'm on the one, and then using the PS2 from the KVM switch to the computer, because the microcontroller inside the KVM switch translates the USB to PS2. Like, so you that, can, yeah. That's kind of like the issue you're saying with that key rollover. On my laptop is a strange thing. I had Windows 10 installed on here, and I could only push one key at a time. Yeah. There was no, I couldn't push more than one key at a time. It was extremely weird. But in Windows 7 and Linux, I it's fine. I can push more yeah. keys at a time. That KVM hmm. switch I have has a microcontroller, so it supports like Mac and uh, Sun and all that shit, you know, weird combo na combinations. But, but like I said, it has this weird glitch that's called KVM that if you run native PS2 keyboard, it can't do shift and control with WASD. It's just weird, it just stop registering. But it converts USB to PS2, so that means I can buy like, you know, a modern replica of a P IBM one, connect that with USB. My friend bought one of those IBM remakes with USB. And connect that, and then I can hook the whole thing up to it to 86. <laughs> Uh, I, I could, you could probably look into like a KVM and an adapter that can do USB my, uh, to PS2 and AT, and maybe XD. Well, yeah, but anyway. My, well, my XP machine, I don't need it, and I don't need it with my Windows 2000 machine, so they won't have some XP ports. I only but, need it for my uh, 95 machine. But if you're gonna look for mechanical big keyboards, you can look for a keyboard with ALP switches. I found one of those. It's, it's an XT80 one, so I have a switch on the bottom. I can go all the way down to like 880 machine. Uh, but that one has blue ALPs, which is super rare apparently, I don't know. But, but there seems to be plenty of white ALPs, uh, ALP switches out there, keyboards. Uh, so yeah. You can look for that maybe. I, f I got mine in a bag, you know, of like random PS2 keyboard, you know, shitty ones that no one wants, and then there was like this old 81, huge one, I was like, yeah, keeping that, because I have no one with native 80 plugs, I just kept it, then I decided to clean it one day, and, you know, oh, some weird caps, and, and you know, weird switches i never seen, Google them, and it was like, Loser. blue alves, and then I went on eBay, and checked the prices on a keyboard, the cheapest one was 600 euros, I'm like, ah. <laughs> I can't figure out the the up arrow key on my uh, keyboard. My mechanical keyboard just doesn't work. I don't know why. It's really mm, weird. Head is broken. I checked. It looks fine. Yeah, but have we measured it? But it could be a long term thing. Like two months ago, I spilled like a giant thing of water on my keyboard. The entire oh, yeah. thing's not working. Yeah. But I put it. The, the, the temps I, I put it in the oven for like an hour. And it worked. It started yeah, working again. But what was it? Pure water or was it kind of water? Was it? It was pure water. From the uh, tap water can still be some salt and shit. Better than cola. The thing is, yeah, if you well, pour. No, no, it was filtered and it came through my uh, the picture. Because if it's if it's carbonate, that you know a lot is called. You know, if you have uh, yeah bubbles, uh, it's no, yeah, no, like, it, my it, friend it, did that like two three times to his laptop. Like you can't apply the beta and shit fast enough. Because it, the acid combination yeah. with the electrics, and not, yeah. and if you have membranes, because then you have those sheets, uh, sheet, plastic yeah. sheets with like, like a print on. They just yeah, like, well, evaporate in a millisecond. But I mean, you can measure those, take apart and measure and replace any broken ones and that, traces. That's the thing that sucks about mine. Mine isn't one of those where you can just like swap the the uh, mechanism, you have to, you have to yep, solder yeah. yeah, you have to desolder them, but I mean you can measure and figure out it's broken, then if you can't solder it, you can ask someone to do it. But you should be able to check continuity on them quite easily, on the switches and the traces. But you need a multimeter. Soldering on the keyboards is not that difficult. Usually. No. 
Well, yeah, this is just, just a board. Just, it's just a big yeah. board, you know? It's better yeah. than membrane, because membranes you have to get silver paint, and then you have to... Then they are, they are <laughs> actually like melted together, so you have to cut the, the melted points away, and then you have to silver paint them, and then you have to melt them or glue them back together in some corners, and then put it all back and hope it fucking works, which is never does. What I'm playing on now is basically, I got my ThinkPad is the last ThinkPad with the old ah. style IBM keyboard. Um, and it's just it's so good for a membrane keyboard, it's probably the best membrane keyboard I've ever I actually have my first man, you know, membrane like st like a Keytronic, do you remember those? <laughs> it's nothing fancy, it looks fancy, but it's nothing fancy. It's a Keytronic from 96, I still have that one. It was an 80 version uh, connector, but I actually took the cable from up, was it, from a mouse. The worst keyboard I've ever used, and I can't believe I used it for a year with my computer, is the one that came with. It, it's a membrane keyboard, but it's trying to be a mechanical keyboard, and it's just uh, horrible. Yeah, uh, I didn't Corsair do those for a while, you know, like just like four years ago, those were all the all the usual keys, like the alphabet, and I think maybe the numbers were mechanical, and the rest of them were membrane yeah, to save membrane. money. It was like 40 yeah, euros. It's a membrane keyboard, but they gave it a ton of travel, and it's got like this weird plastic thing that makes an awful clicking sound. Oh, yeah, shit. And they, they tried to make it feel like a mechanical keyboard. Sounds like it's China. Like, it's like, it, let's the see it in you. China. Well, yeah, but it was exactly. probably like five dollars. Yeah, but that's well, but at five dollars you can't really complain as long as all the keys actually do <laughs> register. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, Wait, you can only press one at one, uh, you know. Yeah, it's can like yeah, two at once. You, you can't just shift and control <laughs> while you was the hacking. <laughs> you can't do that. The one keyboard I got that was actually very surprisingly good was uh, I had put together a PC for a friend, and I got him a cheap account keyboard. It's the Red Dragon keyboard. I was very surprised how good it was. It was only forty dollars, and it felt very nice. I, I got what one of those. Uh... A Red Dragon. Red Dragon. So the Red it. Dragon is the brand. Okay, okay. I thought it was yeah. like a model. It's, yeah, it's yeah. got. It's kind of like a Cherry Mix Red. That's the best way to describe it. No, yeah. but it was cheap. So it's and... like. Yeah, I bought a cheap one too. Um, it, you know, Del Taco. They make like yeah. weird like IO brackets and shit, but they're actually yeah. pretty big, like in the OEM kind of space, I think. But I bought a I Del Taco 60% keyboard mechanical oh, for like. 40 euros free shipping. Sure. I, ha I, yeah. I have it for my lab computer, you know, where I started, so it's full of grease and gunk, but it's it's LED too, but it's just so I can have color combination because I hate RGB. Mm -hmm. So it's just so I have like for, so I, like for quick commands, so I, I made a sheep. But that costs 40 but euros, mechanical 60%, because I don't want it to take up my desk space, but I really have with that, like for 40 euros. I think I bought this if you, uh, but you don't. If you have Discord on, I have my camera on. It's like a small, super small oh, yeah, awesome. nice colors. <laughs> keyboard. So this is also like a Havoc. It's like a uh, super cheap, but is it wireless? very slim. It's a mechanical, nope. like brown yeah. switches. I wanted a wireless sweet. 60%, but those are so uh, stupid expensive. I haven't seen one on this is wireless under. also. I know, I know a lot of people like the 60% keyboards, I just can't do it, I need... Uh, I, 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 I don't really <laughs> like them I actually. I can use them, it's fine. I, I, because in Linux at least I miss all the keys, but the thing was, I I, I have limited workspace, so I needed something... I wanted a wireless 60% or something, I just wanted so I could type. Uh, so yeah. it was it's just so I could put it away, but but this is wired, but it's fine. But that's I why I went with it. I play a decent amount of Doom, and I use the, uh, lo like half the time I use the mouse, the other half the time I use WASD and then uh, the arrow keys on the numpad to play. Oh, okay, so, okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's also, that's one reason I went with the R why I didn't mind RGB on it, because I color coded, you know, the shortcut in the console and Linux and Unix, so oh. I can I can scroll up and down and, you know, stuff oh. like that. Sweet! Like using quick commands. <laughs> lagging. Blame the lag. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm lagging because uh... I got 200 ping compared to the rest of you. But, but it's no, in like, like so much. Oh, yeah. 
get you have 127 ping. That's not that oh, bad. I have no lag. Like but that, I, I much lag. No, I have no lag. Oh, no. Oh, no, that was 320. No yeah, that's pretty high. Web. Well, yeah. Well, high. I'm in the I'm in the US, and you guys are in Sweden, yeah. right? Yeah, and I'm like, like yes, what do you call it? Miles. I mean, how many miles, Marcus, or, or am I from your server? It's like 10 clicks, so seven uh, miles, six, five, six miles, six miles, six miles. Yeah. Yeah, but clicks that's is not a mile. Yeah. Yeah, the mile is 1.6, but the click is one kilometer because that's the US logic. It's military. Yes, one click. The, yeah, uh, it, yeah. I've, I've been doing a lot of airsoft back in the day when I was, a kid, when I was young, and I did a lot of uh, RC, uh, American RC cars. It was just some uh, like I, I'm probably not that good in converting in my head straight up everything, but. Uh, well, I'm probably better than most Sweden. Well, you know, when the... like you guys, you all have to like convert miles to kilometers and stuff, but we just never use kilometers. No, your military uses clicks, which They're... is kilometers. But, uh... The rest of the world does. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, not everyone. <laughs> but a mile is 1.6 clicks. Then you got nautical miles is like 1.9 clicks. But I yeah. think. In the U.S., I think we could probably figure out, like, because, like, on our ruler, we have inches, and then we also have millimeters. Well, uh, then on yeah. the other side, we have uh, millimeters. Yeah. There, there's, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's like 328 foot on a uh, hundred meters, and uh, was it a two point? Uh, uh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. Nice. I just picked that up. <laughs> and then, Ouch. oh, and then a meter is a yard. For no, not the uh, yard is actually less. It's point nine something meters. Yeah, so slightly thought, less. Oh, it's less. Well, I think but, it's pre it's pretty close. An I mean, inch is twenty five point four it's... millimeters. So yeah, I'm pretty used because ah. we, the thing is when we play airsoft in Sweden back when I was younger, we always use use feet. So like we use exit. Uh, well, we had both, but nice. uh, we everything was sold in uh, FPS feet per second and so on. So. We were quite yeah. used to converting FPS to meters per second and so on. And yeah. I was like, yeah, second I had people arm. coming by, I was modding <laughs> guns and building for stuff, pe people, so I was quite used to, like, because there were rules, different rules for different uh, uh, tournaments and shit that follow, so. And then I was into RC cars, so I, was, I, had, I still have my uh, 8, Lucy 8, somewhere. Yeah. So I have, yeah, I have, I have. I don't even know how I just died there. I just dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> I have Probably some imperial so. and uh, some non-imperial tools and stuff. And I have a lot of friends into like Harley Davidson and stuff. So it's all just like imperial again. Yeah. So anyway, Jack, uh, about the um, the, um, the the server that yeah. you guys were playing, uh, the Halo one. So, yeah. uh, could you set up like a real dedicated server, or it did you have to like a dedicated server? That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, we need to have a Halo then, because I yeah, like. Yeah, then I was thinking about uh, us setting that up too. Yeah, that would because, be pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, I have Halo on my Mac, so if I could, then I could test out well, what the question, versions. Does it? Well, do you want to try it? Do you want to try joining my server from the Mac version? Yeah. Yeah, I can try like uh, not now because the Mac is in, tucked away. But oh, but the issue is, what version is the Mac? Is yeah, the, yeah, the thing I run the oh, power PC only version, so that's the question. And then there are sub patches for patches, saying, so it's like did the did the power PC version ever get the patch that removed the uh, game spot? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Else. To play with Power PC, we might have to downgrade the server, downgrade the version. Mm. Yeah, but if if like if we should do some because it's very easy to benchmark uh, Halo because this built-in benchmark is easier on Mac, but you can never activate it on PC too. I've done it. It's if if it holds true that the older versions is faster, it makes sense to run the older versions as long as they're not buggy. Well, no, the the only issue with the older versions is I believe. You can't. You won't be able to join any other servers besides ours. I'm pretty sure. You might, yeah, yeah, you but might, if we, you might yeah. not even be able to do that. 
because I think even with direct uh, IP, I think it still goes through games. Ugh, what? Yeah. That I is... Sure. Anyway, but I, I mean, I don't have to play my Mac because it's kind of horrible experience anyway, because it's an 800. Well, yeah, the amount of people actually that would join playing on a Mac is minuscule. Yeah, but the pants is actually quite a big community on another Discord server, and he got the he got the bigger community than we do here. And uh, well, so I can on. always host more than one server. I just don't yeah. have it be on it. Yeah. But uh, don't that take is, uh, uh, he what is his name? But you know, he's been common. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Where's it? Yeah. Arizona Plums. Yeah. The days I pretty new YouTuber that does back and oh, he has like a micro server and stuff but yeah you know, I don't think I don't think they have done a Halo server they might do eventually oh, that, that's the other thing I'm thinking I'm gonna set up a old Minecraft server yeah he has 1.25 running on a Mac for Mac because there are specially tuned Mac versions that run runs on really yeah, old Macs it. like but did you try uh, Halo yesterday on a Mac or, or uh, with Kali no, we just, no. just I hosted a dedicated server, right? Okay. If we, okay. Uh, if, we, if there is dedicated service, then it's I think it's uh, a lot easier than having yeah. tools, Kelly. I just I always ran the dedicated server software on my server yeah. and then just forwarded the right ports and set it all up. No. I can look into <laughs> what? it. Uh, what? Stole play here now. I mean, I got Halo different versions. Uh, but I do have a uh, Jax version. Yeah, but I mean, Halo isn't that hard to get there on the patches or something. Well, yeah, I got. No, no. I set it up. I got custom edition with the patches and also the single player added to custom edition. Custom edition. So you can Sounds add it. special. And I might even add a Chimera, which like fixes a bunch of graphical issues. I can download it from Marcus then. But do we still have. Do you still have problems with the CD key or did you solve that? No, well, what we're gonna end up doing is we're basically gonna have to find 16 working CD keys. And <laughs> yeah, but then you down. have like, well, we should what have, you have key. like 40 no, people. Yeah, what I was saying, no, no, organize no, that no, freaking no. key. I'm saying you only need 16 working keys because that's the maximum number. Of people yeah, but you if one then you can only hand out 16 because you don't, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah and, but if. And, you could reuse the keys with another group of people. Yeah, but yeah, I figured like the best solution would be if you could actually get a key generator, so you can spit out yeah. new random keys all the time. Then everyone got their own random generated the key. Never. Yeah, then we can. That would, be cool. that would be the best to figure out. If yeah, I, I, key was, generator. I don't know how to do that. No, I just figured it has. Mm. It, it might be one already made. Like, have anyone look into a key and if there is a key generator for it? The good old days of key generators. It was the final days. Yeah, because then at least, and I don't know if the key rate can spit out, like, it was, if it started at the same point or not, but, uh, yeah. But it would, would be easy to generate, if you can generate random ones, because then you can just hand out them. Yeah. You could I maybe agree. even do, if you, you knew the formula, you maybe yeah. could even do a Discord kind of bot thing, so if people just like, oh, I need a key. Well, the key just, was key people would download the game. And then they look up the CD key, and like the first five results are like yeah. the same key. Yeah. So then we had a bunch of people with the same key, and we all had to like figure that out. Yeah. But that's why I was saying like if we could find a CD key generator or figure it out, something. Or if we could block it service somehow. Well, yeah, no, well, you should like be able if, to. If somebody knew what they were doing, they could write a track. Uh, yeah, but the uh, question is, does the server check or does the server talk with some other server that checks the CD key? Or no, how? It, it no, doesn't. I think it's internally. They they cut it out. It used to be GameSpy. Everything used to go through GameSpy, but then they patched it when GameSpy went out of. The thing is, I right. can't debug for shit. But the thing is, you need to basically debug the software. So when two people, when the second one enters the same key, what code does it run, and what I, you know conditional branch does it run, so you can set that they always take that ahead. I already knew, I knew this was gonna happen because I had tried. Me and a couple of my friends tried to play. And it didn't work, but there there is a workaround. If you join at the exact same time, it works. <laughs> if you have both of the same kids and you join at the same time, it's fine. Ooh, nice. They, but hmm. you have to be like clicking three, two. But, but how does it check if the keys are legitimate then? Because can it check that? 
I guess it's just because the two people are going at the same time. Yeah, but I figure, like, you, see, you see, the problem is the keys are the same. That's why if someone joins well, late, with the same key. But if it checks internally, how does does it actually know the formula for a valid key, or does it just check? Oh, those are the same, and then it goes. Yeah. Uh, so it yeah, kicks that's one. The question, yeah, does it? Yeah, because if it way. if it's like say it's built like this, it checks for identical keys and kicks people who has uh, this identical key. But it checks for valid keys against a server somewhere else in the world. If that server doesn't exist, then it exist anymore, it can't check for valid keys. Then no, what's I don't think else? I don't think it's checking if the keys are valid. I think yeah. it's checking. Two people have yeah, two people. Yeah, but yeah, it was strange because we, we had a, a, we had the, the same problem with the Call of Duty server, and that does check somewhere else. It does not check internally. So Holy crap! Are you because the thing was, I figured if if I don't if, know. if the game if the game can't talk to a server, checks for valid keys, and the game doesn't care how the key like as long as the key is you know the right number of digits or whatever. Yeah. Could we just like make our own generator just sequentially puts out keys? You know? <laughs> yeah. It's because uh, if we have no sh actual validation check other than duplicates, then we could just make up keys. Well, yeah. The issue is we just have to find a way to make sure everybody has a different kit. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm like saying. We, if someone could program a Discord bot, for example, that could always just spit out a new one and a new one and a new one, in, like because a PM. If someone would join the call, they would. What happened last night? Somebody would join the call. They had Halo set up. They tried to join. Uh oh, my CD key is invalid. And then they'd have to reinstall the game with a different CD key. So yeah. it's pain. But they are, I figure like a Discord bot maybe you just PM like give me key or something and it will generate a new one that it has been generated for. Send it to PM. Yeah, that would, that would be good. But, but the, the server or um, the server side, the dedicated hosts files, are they on uh, Windows or Linux? Windows. Okay. Then we can run process monitor and check what. You uh, should really the, uh, check the, what they connect to on the internet. Yeah, yeah. But you can do that with process monitor too. Yeah. You know, because then you should use the block everything. Host. Yeah, but you, 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 what I did on my uh, done on my Windows service when I had, I still have one for the LAN. But what I did is just like block everything like standard, and then just open yeah. the specific port for every program. That way they can't talk to shit that I don't want to. Instead of yeah. you know go like up, apply uh, allow you know this to, to speak to the internet. Mm -hmm. Instead, you, because then it might be able, you know, to you know, you can talk to the people on the land, but they can't talk to you know the validation but server. There is another reason um, we want to use the latest version of Halo because older versions of the game without patches don't run on modern versions of Windows. Mm -hmm. So the version you have runs on all OS is pretty yeah, much. It, even one guy, the one guy we played last night with, he was running it on Windows 11. <laughs> oh really? But there. Yeah. Then it's fine. It works on all the. But this uh, Windows 11 seems to be a reskin of 10 mostly, yeah. a big but major update. It was a very interesting thing. I think it was the first time this was done. One person was playing on Windows 98. One person was playing on Windows 11. That's me. That's first time. <laughs> Let's do that. That would be yeah. pretty sweet. What, what, what we should do, Marcus, we should try to see if we can just fake keys like 00001, 00002, and something like that. If it only, yeah. only cares about them being unique, not authentic, then we, yeah, maybe we, one of us could figure out how to make a Discord bot or something. Yeah, but I think that the, the, the game. Software is going to check if the uh, the key is legit when you install it. It, it right? might have a formula to check information, like yeah. if it format properly, yeah. you know. But uh, we don't know. I haven't tried, so I have no clue. I just fancy uh, another game. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, maybe not a tournament, but something else. I don't know. What do you want? Uh, I really well, need I'm to get to bed, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's uh, keep it this way then. Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> One Thank short you. hour, um, but that's okay. Yeah. Sa yeah. Sorry, but are you joining us on, on Saturday? Uh, Wait, no, three? I'm only here uh, for uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Thursdays is my man cave evening, so the rest I'm busy or 
watching well, a movie with my next, wife. Next week, either mm. Friday or Saturday, we're going to be hosting a Halo event, so... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna gonna I'm gonna try to get something to run on Halo. The problem is my Pentium 3 1.4, the sound doesn't work on anything. It just refuses something with Halo and you, some you sound really card sound compatibility. Mm. Yeah, I have no sound like at all, I think. Or I think, hey. that, yeah, I think like the intro, just when you start it works. But as soon as it gets to game, you, you, Halo, you uh, just will work. Do you think Halo will work with a Fudo 5? Or is it a new one? It should work. I've seen people is, running it there. Uh, Halo would do slightly once. There's a patch for Halo CE, it makes it look horrible, but it'll run on Voodoo 4 with that patch. Yeah, I've okay. seen it on Fluorum, cool. so just uh, because what was what, the problem? The, the problem is Halo is quite demanding on like modern graphics card. It was made to basically run on a EFOS 3. Like, um, it's not yeah. minimum requirement, but it's basically like you can run a EFOS 2 MX, I don't know, it's no problem, but uh, you lose out on vertex shaders and shit. Well, the strange, thing with, the strange thing with Halo is. It, all, it uses like DirectX 7, but you need to have DirectX 9 installed. Yeah, the thing okay. is, it was like, yeah, but just, just because the Xbox is uh, basically a GeForce 3 GPU. Well, the Xbox was Direct3D 8.1. Yeah, but the GPU is basically a GeForce 3 knockoff. It's a yeah. Model 5 version of GeForce 3 card. That's why, like, the difference in a GeForce 2 and